ad block exists by the way pig it doesn't matter twitch has uh like twitch whatever you know like they do the thing where you ad block doesn't work apparently <clears throat> do not click play i'm sorry i'm i'm dude my curiosity is peaked My curiosity is stopped. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? What is this? That was that was the most unsettling thing I've ever seen in my life. Hello everybody. I made a video last time called White Monkeys in China Explained. Despite my explanation, many of you still got your noodles in a knot about this phrase, white monkey. So I will say it again. For those of you who want to get irrationally offended because your life doesn't have enough meaning or purpose, white monkey is a name given to all foreigners who do things for money in China by Chinese people. In this video, white monkey, I was a white monkey myself meaning that I did things in China for money that required no talents other than the fact that I was not ethnically Chinese. At this point, being white actually has nothing to do with it. Just being a foreigner in general is enough to be deemed white monkey in China. Doesn't matter your race. I hope the audience brings lots Thank of you so much, Santa, for the 69. Here, so you feel appreciated too. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, I feel appreciated now. <clears throat> so already, I don't like this. I actually found another video of a white monkey gig where I had to be a foreign athlete in a provincial Olympic games, but that's another story for another time. So the white monkey gigs haven't really been <clears throat> easy with COVID. China was on lockdown and they banned foreigners from coming into the country anyway. So paying mermaids to sit in the mall or foreigners to act as farm animals in a what? cage for curious Chinese people. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to work when the Chinese government welds you into your own house, but hey. So basically they're saying white people go to China to do weird shit for money. At the end of the That's day, there wasn't that many white monkey gigs going around in China this year, but that didn't stop people from creating new ones. Enter the new phases of white monkey gigs. <clears throat> We all know the fake doctors and the British garlic sellers. I am Richard from England, European general again of the ginger boss. Oh, uh, here's a very- Was that a real person? Sounded like a text-to-speech bot. An American doctor <clears throat> selling erectile dysfunction medicine. Each box of K-Max is in the United States FDA, GMP, and USP certified. But anyway, these jobs, these new ones I found are, are they very, stuffing or very butt? different. Now at the lowest tier, the bottom rung, tier three, I found that it's these influencers that are kind of like nationalist comic relief. Beef agents. They're out there to cheer up the Chinese people. These are paying between seven dollars for like ten thousand views on some of these chinese social media platforms upwards of seven hundred dollars for a million views on some of these chinese social media platforms they don't pay as well as western platforms like youtube because they're is this was this a vagina smell bad joke What? $700 for a million views on some of these Chinese social media platforms. They don't pay. What? As well as Western platforms like YouTube because their ads, their click rate, all of that stuff is a little bit cheaper. Now the <clears throat> nationalist comic relief agent is someone that goes out of their way to make the Chinese populace happy and smile. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Things were all rough for us in the lockdown. China had it particularly bad, what with gassing the cities and throwing people in jail that talked about it online. So why not live, laugh, and love a little? The token white monkey foreigners had everyone covered with jokes about human trafficking. This is 
喜欢可以讲个价，我听我要的听你讲的对吧 ？What is going on? What? They're making trafficking jokes? Yeah, that's, that's the funniest shit I've ever seen. That human trafficking, that, that's a funny shit. Imagine a stand-up comedian. About that freaking, that, that freaking human trafficking, am I right, guys? That stuff's crazy. Everyone roars with laughter. You, you know, I, I was thinking about selling off my own daughter by how much money they make. Am I right, everyone? Everyone roars with laughter. Oh, the human trafficking's hilarious. Holy shit. Miss Tykela gifted a tier one sub to Mulaker underscore GX. <laughs> Teaching people the The joke is that she was sold for three dollars. Hilarious. Honestly, just hilarious. The importance of not eating American fast food because Chinese fast food is much healthier. Mm -hmm. Dude, why does why does TikTok suck? Like, why is TikTok so bad? Like, all, like, why is why is it so utterly unfunny? It's so unfunny. By the way, chat, go follow me on TikTok. Uh, my uh, my editor started uploading today on my TikTok. Let me see. Did did they did they post it? Let me go check. Yep. Go check out my TikTok chat. Three videos a day. <laughs> Three videos a day, by the way. It's literally just highlights of my Ew, TikTok pig, you fallen. You could fuck off because uh, TikTok is literally the the like main way to gain any traction whatsoever on the internet anymore, and will be the only way to gain traction on the internet anymore. So yes, I am paying people to just take highlights of my videos and streams to post three times a day. All right. Now you could you could say ew, you fallen. If I make shit like this, then you could say that. Then you could say that. I'm not making TikTok videos. I'm posting highlights of my content on TikTok in hopes that I can get some, like, traction from that. It's called business, chat. It's called networking. You ever heard of it? Sir, this is your life! And how generous the Chinese people are to feed the poor African who has to eat table scraps from... What is happening? This is 2021, right? What is going on? From Chinese restaurants. I don't want to get hit with copyright because they always use copyright music on these Chinese videos. But anyway, basically this woman comes up and says, like, what kind of filthy customer is this? The waiter comes up to her and says, hey, don't worry about it. Like, we're going to take care of, you know. Uh, what? What's this guy's point about white monkey jaws? I have no idea. He's just showing really bad videos. That's all I know. Customer in need like this and get rid of all this table scraps and stuff and set them up with a fresh... Uh, roasted fish, as you can see over here, because does, they're does so it charitable. Look like the same thing, though. It does. It kind of looks exactly the same as what he was eating. To be totally fair, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. See, the thankful African celebrates the generosity of the Chinese people. I'm not making this up, guys. This is literally the stuff that people are willing to feed the Chinese audience 
just to feed into the rising superiority complex that the Chinese government is creating at the moment. Now the second tier, the middle tier, is the foreign shill. The pay is around $100. Oh my God. to up to upwards of $20,000 per post. That's an estimate. 20? This involves reading scripts about topics that you don't understand or making a video about something that you don't understand that benefits the Chinese Communist Party or the CCP. Now, China's been really having a tough time with international press these days. It turns out that genocide and pandemics and authoritarian governance and a slew of human rights atrocities are not the best look for a nation. So the Chinese government has reverted back to what they know best, lies and deception. <clears throat> Why not pay a bunch of foreigners to tell Chinese people that genocide is okay? You know that whole cotton drama? Well, what? if you don't, I'll tell you what happened real quick. There was slave labor being used by the Chinese government to harvest cotton. They were using yeah, some of the millions of being bad? Uyghur ethnic minority thought? people that they no threw way. into concentration camps to pick cotton. And some companies like H&M thought that that was kind of shitty. So they banned cotton from that region of China. China got pissed. No one is going to tell them not to genocide and use slave labor. So they hired some foreigners to show the Chinese citizens that they too support genocide and slave labor and destroy and protest against Dude, don't you just fucking love this shit? Like, th dude, money bad. Like, honestly, money bad. Money very bad. The fact that people will do the worst, most disgusting, deplorable things just to make a quick buck. I, I love genocide. It's my favorite thing to do. I, I, I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, I <laughs> can't wait for that genocide. Now pay me a thousand dollars. Holy shit. Well, it's more like people bad. Well, people are influenced by money. You know? The thing is, a good person will do something terrible if they're desperate for money. You know what I mean? They can be good people, but they would do awful things for money. These brands like Nike and H&M. Burn all of it. These people Everything's have free. No idea what they're doing. Well, Anarchy. Some of them. But hey, I'm not giving a solution, chat. I'm just, I'm just calling it as I sees it. Foreigners are joining in with the nationalist cry bullying. Then it must be a good cause. It wasn't just the cotton stuff, though. It was anything that painted China in a bad light. This particular expert has friends from every single Chinese minority, and he tells harrowing tales of how bad their life was before the Communist Party saved them. So, do Tibetan people want to be part of China? Yes, most of them do want to be part of China. The people that don't want to be part of China are the monks. The monks that were in power before. But the average population definitely wants to be part of China. One okay, of are, are we going like full history lesson and politic of, of China? What's happening? Like literally all I thought this video was about was odd jobs they do in China. Now we're like delving into like politics racism like what is this what what am i watching one of my friends is actually from tibet her grandma came to visit us in beijing and she told me a story about what happened before china took over in tibet she told me the horrible things that the tibetan <clears throat> monks did to people they treated them like slaves they beat them and they skinned them alive her grandma also told me the story about when her dad got skinned alive and made into a skin coat. He has access to these very personal stories. <laughs> I'm sorry. Most of my friends from Inner Mongolia also speak multiple languages, and the people there are very friendly. Most people there have an option of going to a Mandarin English school or um, Inner Mongolia. He has no idea what he's talking about. Like he, look at him. Look, look at, look at this. Like, like it, it, it's, it's like, it's like someone just like plugged, or like, like you know, one of those like cassette tapes. That's like he has like a little thing in the back of his head, and they just like plugged one in, and he's just running. There's no thoughts being had. 
it's just like it's just running. You know what I mean? It's just happening. All right, I think I'm gonna be done with this. <laughs> My God, the commie bunch. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is. Yeah. This. Yeah. This is getting. All right. It's, yeah. Yeah. That's not. It's getting. It's getting too. It's getting too much. Oh. It's delving into areas that I don't want to go into. Late top monkey in its John Cena. All right. <clears throat> What even is this video? I have no idea. Like, I, I guess uh, white monkeys are people who are white that do things for China. But, like, the, the, China pays them a lot of money to do things because they're white. Because, you know, like, white people tend to have a little bit more, like, sway in opinion. All right. You want funny haha, -ha, man? Oh, hey, I'm back. Hey, look at me. Uh, I'm funny. Look, uh, I'll tell a joke right now. Uh, hey, I, uh, I got nothing. Uh, nothing off the top of my head. But just wait. Just wait. I'll something. Something will appear. Just give it a second. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribe? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.